Hi crafty friends, Melissa Miner here and I'm super excited to be sharing a layout with you for the Shimmers Paints Design Team. I am working today with the October Color Kits and so this gorgeous striped paper is from the Color Kits and these are the photos I'm scrapbooking. That's my boyfriend Dale on the left and that's me on the right. And these are from last Halloween and we had went to a pumpkin patch and took some photos and I love the pumpkin wall in that photo. Now one of the things that I had been just dying to do is use some cheesecloth on a Halloween layout. So that's what I have here on the back of my photos. I have a sheet of the pattern paper from the color kits. I have the little um, spiderweb paper and then I've matted that on some cheesecloth. How fun is that? I love that for Halloween. Now, if you haven't seen my unboxing of the October color kits, I will leave that link down below in the description box so you can see everything that comes in the kit this month. All right, so now that I have that down, I want to bring in the next piece. And what I have done is I have a cut file. So I've printed this cut file in black and then I used that black and orange polka dot paper that came in the kit and backed the cut file. Now this cut file, I will leave linked down below as well. It's from my friends over at Pear Tree Cut Files. All right, I was first thinking that I wanted to add a little foam, but I don't think that's really gonna be necessary and I think it'd be hard to get foam all over this. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of my fine line applicator here and I'm using some tacky glue and I'm gonna go ahead and glue this cut file down. I love the way that looks and the gorgeous Halloween paper that came in the kit. That is so awesome. So that's gonna be perfect on this layout. This layout's gonna to come together so quickly because everything in the kit just coordinates so well. All right, now that I have that done, I want to start looking at some of the embellishments. So I'm gonna bring in my stack and sort tray here, and I've went ahead and put my embellishments in this tray and I think I wanna use this cute little coffin over here. So I'm just gonna dry fit some of these just to kinda of see where I want them. I'm thinking I want a pumpkin, and actually I'm thinking I wanna do a whole cluster along the bottom. How cute is this mummy? I've definitely gotta add him, him here to this O on the Halloween. I think that's cute. And you know, this is just a pumpkin wall. There's not a lot in this photo. If I put this little tree embellishment here, I think that that adds so much. So I love that. And I definitely wanna put the cat on here. I just don't know where yet. Thinking about the ghost, no, I think that's a little bit too big. So let me see here, there's a little Frankenstein, that'd be cute, but I really don't wanna introduce any new colors. I've got the black and the white and the orange, and so I kinda of wanna stick with that color scheme. Um, I think it's just more pleasing to the eye. If I would bring in another color, then I'd have to place that um, all around my page. So I'm gonna stick to these three colors. So let me see what other embellishments I can find. I do like these pumpkins, and so I think I'm gonna add those. And I like the way that looks. And so I'm gonna go ahead and glue these down. Now I did add foam tape through the magic of photo editing here, camera editing. I've added foam tape to the back of the coffin and also the tree, so those are popped up. And then the pumpkins, the regular pumpkins, those are just glued down flat to the layout. I do wanna add a little bit of foam tape here to the kitty cat, so that's super cute. And then, yeah, that's really cute, I love that. Okay, and let's see what else that I need on this layout. I wanna thumb through the embellishments one more time to see if there's anything else I can add. I do like the way that that bottom cluster looks. Um, I'm thinking about using one of these stickers and let me try this up here. No, let me see what it looks like up here. And you know what, now that I'm looking at that, I. I don't think it adds anything to the layout, so I'm gonna go ahead and just remove that and save that for another project. I do like that sticker though, that is super cute. I'm still trying it in other places. I really wanna put it on the layout, it's just not gonna make it though. So let me go ahead and put this back on the sticker sheet and look through the rest of the embellishments to see what else we have. 
And as I'm looking through here, I like the hat. I like the ghost. Oh, there's a spy, there's a witch's broom. But again, this has that purple on it, so mm, I don't think I want to add that. And here's a spider web. That'd be perfect. And it's black and white. So I'm going to add a little bit of foam tape. Um, actually, I just have little foam squares that I cut. And then I'm just going to glue that on the back of here. And I'm going to pop that spider web up over there. And that's perfect because I have that spider web paper that I've backed my photos with. So that's going to look super cute over there. All right. So I have that. And... Let me see if there's anything else that I want to add. Let me give this a good press just to make sure that that stays down. I do want to bring in one of these dots. Now this dot that I want to use says cute and creepy. And I'm going to add a little bit of thread to it. So this is just some sewing thread and I have the color orange. So I'm just going to loop this around my fingers here. And then I'm going to place it behind the dot. And I think it'd be a little bit easier if I get... Um, a glue dot those are super sticky so I'm gonna go ahead and peel a glue dot here and we'll stick the thread to the glue dot and then I'm gonna put the dot right on top of there and let me see if I can get it peeled off and the perfect so I'm gonna go ahead and stick this down and I think it'll look cute right down there by that kitty cat and there's like a little bit of space right there so cute and creepy will be really cute next to that cat so let me go ahead and give this a good press. And yeah, I like that. Super cute. Now I think I am happy with this layout. Now I want to add some paint. I haven't painted yet on my layout and that's one of my favorite things to do. So I'm bringing in the Dandelion Creamies. Now Creamies is a satin color and all you do is you spray a little bit of water in it and you let it sit for a moment and then you can paint. So I want to paint in the center of the eyes here. There's like some little eyeballs. So I'm going to paint the center of these eyeballs. And then I think it'd be cute to paint the, you see the bat up there in the upper right hand corner of the layout. I want to go ahead and add this dandelion creamies up there to the bat's eyes. I think that will make it look like the eyes are glowing. So I have a little detail brush that I'm adding the paint. And I love that. And so now I want to add a little bit of splatter. So I'm going to go ahead and use this scrap piece of paper and cover up my photos. I don't want to get any paint on my photos. I'm bringing back in that dandelion creamies and I'm dipping my paintbrush in water. And then I'm just making some splatters. Now I know it's hard to see the splatters on camera. There you can see a few. But I'm going to put some dandelion splatters all around the upper part of my layout here. There's really not any room at the bottom with my photos down there and that is it so i love this page if you've enjoyed this video please go ahead and hit that thumbs up and if you're new i hope you'll subscribe and come back remember to add my name to your shimmers paints order so that shimmers will send you a free paint thanks so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next video i will have everything linked down below as well as links to my Facebook and Instagram page where you can see close-ups. Thanks so much. Bye.